So we're going to play a photography game. Now this photography game is going to be so simple, yet a little bit challenging, that we're only going to use our phone to shoot with. So if you're ready, let's start. So welcome back to iPhotography on YouTube. If we've not met before, I'm Stephen. I'm one of the tutors here at iPhotography. And can I just say to begin with, thank you very much to all the new subscribers that we've had on this channel recently. It's lovely to read your comments. It's really, really nice to kind of interact and get in touch with you as well. So hopefully you're enjoying the videos. And obviously if you are, please let us know in the comments below. So today, what we're going to actually have a look at is a photography game. Now, what is a photography game? Effectively, for, in our eyes, it's just an opportunity to kind of push our creativity when we get in a bit of a creative rut, if we're getting a little bit bored, shooting the same thing over and over and over again, and we just want to do something new. So we've kind of conjured up a little bit of a game to play that's got some very simple rules. So what's this game called? Well, I don't think there's actually an official name for it, but we can just give it one. We'll just call it the one color game. Now you can probably guess from a title such as that as to what the rules are, but let's just be explicit. Rule one, and pretty much the main rule, is that you can use any camera and all we're going to be doing is photographing objects of one color. You can allow yourself a little bit of variation in terms of tones and, and kind of hints and shades of that color, but the ultimate guide is to basically fill your entire frame with just that one color. No Photoshop allowed, it's gotta be an image that's straight out of your camera, so there's no options to tweak, color balance, or change it. That's where it gets a little bit tricky. So what we'll do, we'll take our camera and we'll head outdoors and we'll see what we can find. The summer's calling The kingdom is overthrown Meet me at the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you so we've come outside um, just to try and get a, a slightly more wider world of opportunities. And we've got a mixture of a, of a kind of a, a little park over that side. And there's also a boatyard across the other side. Um, and as we drive driving down, I was thinking kind of what color could be used. I mean, given the height of summer, there's lots of green around, but it's just an easy choice. We went with blue instead. So we're just gonna have a bit of a wander around between a couple of different locations here. Again, we're just using our phone. You, you can use any camera you want, but we just wanted to show you how simple this game can be. Sometimes you may not always be able to get to the colors that you want. We've got this little boatyard, which is just a, you know, a wash with blue, um, but being stuck behind the gates, I think we'll just have to make use of the zoom function. And you know, it's one of those things you may have to do between zooms and just little tilts um, to your camera, just so you can fill up the entire frame um, to get all those colors in that you want. So we'll give this a try. And it's just good to look out for like different textures. So you've got like the, the hardened plastics there. And then you've got like the tape at the back here actually. So 
it's just a game really kind of to test your perception, making sure you're aware of what's around you. And even if you don't play this game all the while, it should then help with your photography in different areas. So I think the biggest problem you're gonna have is discipline. If you spot an area of color that you wanna photograph, but it's also got another color mixed in with it, you've gotta tell yourself, no, it's maybe not the right option or I can't fill it. It's, that's the thing that's gonna kind of teach you to be kind of more stringent with your photographs. So ultimately, what's the end game for all these photographs? It depends up to you, really. It may just be a case that you're teaching yourself to be a bit more creative when you go out and, and look at things differently, which is absolutely fine. Um, what I want to do, because I think we've got a nice variation of different textures and different tones of blue, is I'm going to montage them all together. So since they're on my phone, I'm just going to download an app, montage them all together, and I'll actually kind of put them up on the screen. <laughs> So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We really enjoyed it. It was actually a bit of a challenge, probably a little bit harder than I thought, but that's the kind of idea of it. It wasn't there for us to learn necessarily much more about our camera. It was there just to open our eyes and make us see things a little bit more that we didn't normally see. Something you may just rush by every day, you know, maybe like a, a building or a bit of scenery that you don't actually pay attention to that much. But when you're doing it for a purpose with your camera, it actually opens your eyes up a little bit differently. So if you've played along, again, we'd love to see all the photographs that you've taken. If you want to montage them together, as we said um, a little bit earlier, it could be great to see them all in one setting. So find us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Just tag us in the iPhotography course and we'll be able to see all your amazing photographs. If you're enjoying this video and other ones that you may have seen, obviously, thank you so much for your subscription. If you're totally new to iPhotography, then we'd love you to subscribe. Turn those notifications on and every Thursday, we will be posting a new video and a new blog that goes along with it as well, which you can find all the links for below. If you want to know anything else about iPhotography course, even to join one of our courses, again, we've always got the links in the description, along with some really, really good offers for you to get started on your photography career today. So until the next time, we'll see you soon.